Hey guys, welcome back to the Grower's Corner. So today I wanted to take some time and revisit the subject of lighting. Now I know a bunch of you guys are going to be like, why are you talking about this again? Why did you do this? You already did this. Well, the bottom line is this. If you aren't continuing to up your, your knowledge base, if you're not continuing to research the newest, latest, you're not learning anything. And I like to learn. I like to continue to read. I like to find out what's going on out there in the gardening world and apply what's of use to me. Now, last time we had talked about the up and coming, quote unquote, up and coming uh, research that was going on in the LED world, as opposed to using HPS metal halides for your indoor grows. Well, guys, I got to tell you, I think the future is here <laughs> to be perfectly honest with you um, I had said before that I hadn't really seen some results all the way through with LEDs that has changed um, they can if you spend the money and you get the right system you get a high-end system they can do some amazing things Um, and for those of you master growers, guys that like to have their hands in every single aspect of that garden, this is another source of control. This is another source of manipulation and play and experimentation because of that level of control. And now we had talked about something called PAR, right? Well, PAR is great and it's a, a level of uh you know intensities and things but we want to talk about micromoles we want to talk about how much of that is coming down and how absorbent is it right we also want to talk about the intensity they've got new leds now to where we can adjust via a dimmer switch um the voltage or wattage uh going into that fixture thus making uh, the intensity of the light controllable malleable and now we don't necessarily you know as they grow up etc if we run out of room we can turn them down we don't have to burn them things like that um, the distance that we've gone on about between bottom of uh, light top of plant remember we had this discussion that is greatly minimized because of that intensity control but also because the light is spread out most times in a linear fashion it's not condensed in one spot so the heat is condensed in one spot it's more spread out um, now the wattages are again lower than your average HPS metal halide but comparable, if not better, lumen, par, and micromole outputs. Um, stunningly so. And better coverage, better uniformity, okay? All of these things come into play when you build your, your indoor, when you put your indoor together. When you grow, it affects how the plants grow. If this side gets, uh, you know, leafier, bushier, better, this side's up against the wall, so it's, you know, basically living off reflective light. It's not got any direct light, and it's much shorter. It's kind of stunted, the back half of your plant, if you will, etc., etc., unless you're rotating pots around. So all of those things help the environment, help the grower, increase yield. All of those things are things that you want. Now, uh, when you start talking about spectrum controls, I mean, that's just a game changer in and of itself. The ability to change, to eliminate certain spectrums, go full on one other, um, mix them together in your own little recipe, cut out some right at the end, etc. We're talking about upwards of 70 grams a square foot results wise. Okay. We're talking about increased cannabinoid levels, both THC and CBDs, as well as increased turpin profiles. That alone. That alone, the ability right there to increase all of the aspects of the plant that we are actually looking to cultivate, actively control those levels and increase them at will, 
uh, it seems, is worth its weight in gold. <laughs> I mean, no matter what your your uh, end goal is, whether it be personal or professional, that ups your game tenfold. Uh, and that is something you really just can't afford to miss out on. Um, to the guys that are diehard Metal Halides HPS, I was right there with you, fellas. I really was. It's time to do a little bit of reading, open up to change, and uh, move on with the future. Until next time, this is the Grower's Corner.